Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. <sighs> so today, another cigar, and this one is provided to me by no one other than the friends that we cannot be friends with, Quake, which is Shadow Smoke Legion member. He always kind of remembered that I didn't get a cigar and whine about it a lot. So he handed one to me at the Miami meet. There we go. This is the Knuckle Sandwich 55, and it's supposed to celebrate, uh, I think, Guy Fury's birthday. And there's a lot of five in here, okay? It's five and a half by 55 Robusto flat oval press, okay? And uh, it uses San Andreas wrapper. It uses, uh, fuck it, San Andreas again. Uh, Nicaraguan binder and then the filler is also Nicaraguan filler and um, there is limited to 555 boxes of 10 cigars so it's all 555 and the MSRP is 15 there you go all the five you can get five 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 here you go five you get five you get five you get you, you, you get five everybody get five except me I don't I I didn't get one all right so Kind of night. I mean, it's pretty cool. The 55 really, really does stand out. And this, like, uh, copper silk thingy. Not silk thingy, but like ribbon. Kind of fits really well. You know, kind of fits really well. Yeah. So. Yep. Is this, uh, Sour San Andreas smell, like wet wood. Nothing special. We have done so many San Andreas cigar already. They they all kind of smell the same. They all kind of. We need something new. You know, we need something different. Stop using San Andreas. Dry dry is. Like box oak -y. like old drawers, like old wood. Now, if I can get a lighter, that will work. We can light this up. Like this, this lighter is like ever since I tune it small, it's been slacking. Let's tune it back up. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Hmm. Pepper, woodsiness, um, kind of like a dark bitter espresso. A lot of pepper. Yeah, a lot of pepper. Um, I 
there's a, this really weird. Chili pepper aftertaste. So it's spicy. And then it has this weird aftertaste to it. And then goes woodsy. And then now. Tastes like dirt. But it's like woody dirt. Yeah. And also in the forefront, as soon as you popped it, that drawer, like old wood drawer, like barrel kind of taste. But really old. Just. The espresso taste only comes through if you take a small pop. It feels spicy though. That, that spicy lingers. Chili pepper spicy lingers. All right, we'll see what this will do for us. I had to be very slow because it looks like it started to tunnel. Uh, just a little bit, but I think that will fix itself in a few, few, few moments. Once we burn past that, I think it will, be, uh, it will be fixed. So, we'll be right back. Okay, so, I say this is one third, but it kind of burned, kind of slim. So, I say this one third, you do see that tunnel right there, but it kind of fixed itself, like I said it would. So, uh, the problem is, it, the construction is good, the cigar is good, it's almost a little bit toothy, well, the way it burns, but the flavor is very confusing. It tastes like, let me describe this right. It tastes like it goes to this park, and that has a child playing area. And they have this really fine dirt sand. And then you and, and then with some like grass growing right next to it. And then you had a cup of espresso on your hand. And you walk in there and just watch the kids play. And you're like, ah oh, yeah, it's a nice day, sunny and everything. And this kid just knock you over. Poof! And then you're like, you just watch your espresso slowly fall down to that pile of sand slash dirt. And then you go. It's all the money I have. Five dollars. So you took a handful of that dirt and then shove it in your mouth. And start sucking that dirt to get your espresso back. And that's what it tastes like. At first it gets espresso and then moves to that earthiness dirt and then from when to from good to like eh, and then you get this really earthiness, and then ends in a bitter note. I'm not smoking fast. Smoke output is good. But what the hell is that? Is and, and, and yeah, after that, there's some spiciness that goes through pepper and, and chili. First, your nose a little bit. But like, what's with that earthiness? That. It just kills it because it has a really pleasant espresso nose. And then you just go to that earthiness, like really nasty. It's like good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. I really hope this earthiness just goes away because that espresso note, the like coffee-ish dark note, it's really good. And they just drop it into the dirt. So I don't know. We'll be right back though. Smoke another third and see if it gets better. Now, we we'll just look at the band. Okay. Second third. I was literally going to show you guys how good this cigar's construction is because I rarely keep an ash. But this is one piece of ash that just came out. One piece. I can't even show you guys, but whatever. One piece of ash. One. So, it just fell down. Literally right before I turned on the camera. My hand shook. You know. Slip. Smoke, it does come out really good, but, and the earthiness, earthiness did go down, but there is this one bitterness that just won't go away. I just don't like that bitterness. Everything is nice, you know? The, the, the flavors are good, just that, that bitterness is just there. 
That's like the downfall of the cigar, I think. Some people might like that bitterness. I don't. I can't tell what bitterness that is. There is just that one bitterness. Everything else is nice. Oh, pepper. Pepper. There is a good amount of pepper. If you like pepper, this is a pepper bomb. Okay? And it tastes pretty good because it's one of those like black pepper and then kind of work its way to a chili pepper. Spicy. Which is kind of pleasant. It's fine. But that bitterness stays on your tongue. And I don't even know how to describe that bitterness now that the earth has went away. It's like um it's like a woodsy bitterness. It's just not going away. I don't know. I don't know why. Everything else is nice. The espresso, the wood the regular woodsiness, it's kind of pleasant. And then it just go ends with that bitterness. That bitterness lingers. I think that's the downfall of this cigar. It, it was pretty good. But here's the band, 55. First band. And I think they did a good job of this one. Okay, because like it looks like those um slot machine five. Slot machine. And also back in the day, uh there's a secret <laughs> brand called like Triple Five that we used to have. Probably find a picture somewhere. Um, it looks like that. And it kind of reminds me of that. It's kind of nice. Uh, this did stand out like the way the decoration did definitely made it stand out more than a regular uh, knuckle sandwich that I like pretty cool and the, the gold on it is textured it's textured see that look, look, look like one of those like um, um, uh, copper pot that you buy that they, that's hammer so it's like not smooth it looks like that. It's kind of nice. But yeah. Last third. Hopefully that bitterness go away. At least I can enjoy a third without bitterness. I don't know. Life is already bitter enough. Why had you put bitter in a cigar? Yeah. Be right back. I think I personally try my best to handle this. The bitterness never went away. Some people must like this bitterness a lot. But not for me. It's uh, it's bitter as hell. So this is where I'm gonna go. But big shout out to Quick for me to try this cigar because he can't find this anymore. Definitely appreciate it. So here's the band. Like I said, the gold has that dot on it. It's pretty cool. I think it really stands out. Whatever they did to kind of improve the look of this thing, they did it right. They did it right. It looks nice. No, it's like sparkly. But it's not like, it's not actually sparkly. So it's just the, the dot they put on it. They did a good job. I like it. I like it. Definitely caught my eyes for sure. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get my own. But having the right friend in the right place sometimes gets you the right cigar. It's just that this cigar is not to my taste. It's that bitterness never went away. Is it $15 worth? I think it would be. But for me, it's got to be 14, if not 13. All right. Uh, because of that bitterness. Because I, I, like, I smoked it. It's cool. It's nice. But that bitterness never went away. It's just throughout the whole entire cigar. It has that undertone bitterness that just stays there. Maybe some really manly people will like it. For me, no. Like, I like bitter stuff, just not this kind of bitter. It's like a really deep, earthy, well, woodsy, in-between kind of a bitterness. Like, just, just, it's, it did not hit, hit my palate correctly. I don't know. It burns nice. Ash holds, like, really nicely. It burns really nicely. It just, that bitterness never went away. It's unfortunate, you know. I, I, I really want to enjoy the cigar. So, yeah. Like I say, you know, since it's a limited edition, you can't find it. It's just a review, but would I buy one? No, I won't. Uh, I can't. I can't see myself smoking this this kind of bitterness uh, in any cigar, in any cigar. So, but like I say, it's good flavor, and then it ends with that bitterness. 
Like, if that bitter note goes away, it wouldn't be so bad. I mean, I, maybe this particular one, they put something in there that's a little bit extra. It burns bitter. But everything else, it's worth that 15 you know, with the decoration they have and you know, being limited edition. 15, I can see it. Yeah. But I didn't enjoy as much as I thought I would. But anyway, thank you, Quake. This is why we can't be friends. All right, that's it for this cigar review. I hope you like it. If you like it, like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cause... See you guys. Bye, guys.